have all of that red covering the sky. And this is what I talk about whenever I say that we're, we live during the, the blue sky times right now and that we're entering into those times that will be dominated by a red sky. Uh, let's see, this is from Jay Timber Traveler, who also sent me a little introduction video. Nice to meet you, Jay. I appreciate it. Uh, Jay out of BC, Canada. Again, we've got BC, Canada with these beautiful auroras, rainbow-like. See all those reds making their way down? The green is, we understand the green enough, right? But the reds, that's whenever, when it starts to become only red, that, that's the danger. That's why red, you know, typically we, we associate that with dangerous things and magic and mystery and stuff like that. Here's a very opalescent, pearlescent one that Jay also took of the sky. Going from greens to purples, reds, oranges, yellows, all over the place. Uh, this one, this one looks like it's actually directly above so Jay Timber Traveler took this one and it look this is what it should look like. I believe he was directly underneath this. Um, this is what it looks like. It just it spreads out and it points like crepuscular rays from the sun, right? It points straight down. This is what it looks like when you're standing underneath it. And I've seen incredible videos of people that have taken videos of the auroras that, that they're directly beneath them when the auroras look like they're exploding and it's not time lapse or anything they whip their tails around they move about you can see electricity in the sky right not not like a quick flash of lightning but like a huge cosmic whip that's moving about or dragons or things like that was that it oh okay i guess that was it let me see Unless I clicked the wrong button here. Did I click the wrong button? I think I did click the wrong button. Hold on, let me get back on track. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ba-boom, ba-doom. Yeah, we have got more. We definitely have more. I, my mouse is breaking. That's what it is. All right, where were we? Where were we at? J Timber Traveler. Let's see. Let's go. Oh, yeah, that's right. We were right here. Boom. All right, sweet. You can also almost make out a dragon head in this right there. Almost, right? Let's check out some more of these. All right, here's uh, from J, Ch T J Timber Traveler again. Let me scooch it up for you. And we'll make this one a bit larger too. Look at that. The glory of the heavens. Behold. Now the glory of the heavens will descend upon the people, and it's been described that way. Um, I highly recommend, if you're interested in all of these strange atmospheric historic records, like the Carrington event or Tunguska, um, and especially if you're interested in the Middle Ages or the Dark Ages, go pick up a copy of the Anglo-Saxon Chronicles, a written history from ancient monks that... Um, that recorded the strange and wonderful serpents that were seen in the skies and on the land and they recorded stuff like this and this is how they described it as the glory of the heavens descending upon the earth and this this one almost look at this this almost looks like somebody's doing a shadow puppet doesn't it like a little dog shadow puppet you know or something back there you see that i just noticed that <laughs> that's a little dog shadow puppet Little hand right there. Skidoo. That's pretty cool. All right. Uh, let's see. That was, these were from Jay Timber Traveler. Here's another one from Jay. These ones just rain down. Look at that. Right? Now, in the, in the movies, when I do my truth in movies, we talk about mutations and superpowers and stuff like that. That's where much of this, that's where much of it comes from. This cosmic energy from the heavens. This one right here is sent in from uh, Kano's Kid out of Florida. So in Florida, people were seeing this. I believe this is from Florida. And uh, you can see the red up there in the heavens. Man, it's beautiful. Thank you so much. To out, shout out to Kano's Kid. Next up, we've got Kimberly out of Mississippi who is sharing the night sky you can see it's lit up down here in the lower portion over here that's kind of what i noticed too i did notice a little, a little bit of brightness in colorado here's that little triangle i forgot which uh, constellation that one is but i see that one a lot in the sky a little triangle one here you can see the purple the purple glow just above her house 
Uh, this is from Nabiyahua. Nabiyahua, this one right here. So let me let me shrink this one down a bit so we can see a little better here. And you can see the treetops, beautiful picture. She's got the stars in the background and the glory of the heavens shining on down. A unique image out of Washington. Good job taking these images for us and thank you so much everyone. Here's another one from Nabiyahu. We've got the purple, this one's even brighter. Look at that beam shooting across right there. And then the uh, the greens and the purples all the way across the sky. This descended so far south. People were seeing the auroras in, uh, reportedly in Spain and uh, I mean here where I live in, in Colorado people saw them and I believe people saw them in Arizona as well. Look at this one. This is from Rashane out of Utah. Hold on, let me, let me scooch this up a bit. Look at that, it looks like a postcard. I mean, they're beautiful. And we, this is what's nice. I just wanna keep on reminding people, okay? Very beautiful. Majestic, beautiful. My light turned off again all by itself. That's crazy. Turn on light. One sec, let me fix this little light here. It doesn't work. That's odd. The electricity went out on my light as I'm talking about the auroras. Oh, there we go. Okay, less, there we go. All right, sweet. I fixed that up. All right. Um, oh, yeah, I just wanted to remind, remind everybody, it's beautiful now, okay? But the time will come when people will run when they see this, I believe. People will hide. People will run. Um, when those twisted serpentine figurines up in the sky descend... And they get lower and lower and the angels fall to the earth, right? That's whenever it becomes dangerous. So I love it. I think it's beautiful right now. Uh, I, I understand that everyone is like, oh, ooh, and ah, oh, it's so beautiful. But it's also extremely dangerous when it makes its way down to the earth. These are warnings. This is why we do this show. It's called omens. These are omens of things that we should be cautious of, okay? Things are going to change. They're on the cusp of changing as we speak right now. This one's from Susie Flat out of Australia. Was that the other one? Yeah. So that was Rashane. Susie Flat sent in this one. Now, I want to talk about these red ones that people see in Australia. They're called the Aurora Australias, I believe. Um, the reason why, you might wonder how come you guys don't get as much of the greens and yellows and stuff and you mostly get a lot of reds and purples and stuff like that. That's because you're closer to the dome. You're closer to the sky than the people are in the north. Okay. So the, um, the gases are different and the, the pressure is different. Okay, so it creates a different light show for all of you. But you're going to see all of that red because that the red auroras are higher up in the at, in the atmosphere. They're they're closer to the dome. They're higher up. Okay, um, and Australia and those who live around the edge of the world or the the outside portion, closer to where the dome comes down. This is my perspective on cosmology. You don't have to agree with it. It's totally fine. Um, but that makes sense to me. Why why in Australia they have so many of these red auroras right you see some green off there and that's really green down there that's beautiful and um that helps me to understand and reconcile why the aurora australis and the auroras that are seen closer to antarctica are so often depicted as red and seen as being this bloody red velkin as it's described in um in the anglo-saxon chronicles velkin meaning firmament here it is again, another beautiful one from Susie Flat, who took a picture of this little karate kid looking Mr. Miyagi-Do karate tree with the uh, the green and the reds and the purples right above it. Very beautiful. Yeah, so this is indicative of the the plasma that's way up high coming down low, which it, it doesn't usually do. Uh, this next one is from the great Sabrini out of Ohio. The great Sabrini took this picture from what looks to be her backyard. Uh, I see some cotton candy skies. Some more blues in this one. A bit of pinks. 
This is probably my favorite one of all of them. As far as artistically inclined submissions, this one's beautiful. This is 